Hello everybody, Budley Neck here, it's time for another Mods of the Week. This week's shout out comes from the YouTube comments, and they are absolutely right. Visual Studio Code is an amazing editor, so is Notepad++. You really can't go wrong with any of the three. And I want to say thank you, Hesel, for watching, commenting, and subscribing. We have got 11 fantastic mods to go over, let's get to them. Prefab recently got released for the Fabric Mod Loader. This mod has been around for quite a while in the Forge modding scene, and it's pretty exciting to see it brought to Fabric. For those of you who don't know, Prefab allows you to craft blueprints of various structures that you can then preview and place throughout your world. There are prefabs for pretty much any structure that you may need, from a starter house all the way to warehouses and mob grinders. Some of these have multiple variations and versions of the structure, and most can be customized in some way. They've also introduced some interesting blocks like the phasic block that can phase in and out of existence with a right click, and the boundary block that only becomes visible when you apply a redstone signal. This is a great mod for when you don't feel like building and all of the structures added look great inside and out. Rusted Iron is a Fabric 117 mod that makes iron behave similarly to the newly introduced copper blocks. This mod adds iron slabs and stairs, cut iron, and cut iron slabs and stairs. All of these blocks rust slowly over time at the same rate copper oxidizes. They've also added the ability to create waxed versions of all the iron blocks to prevent further rusting. And all versions of the iron blocks work with beacons, waxed, and unwaxed. The Abyss Chapter 2 is a Forge 116 mod that adds a lot to the game. It adds a new dark dimension where the only light provided is by various plants, fungi, and creatures. This mod also adds some story with multiple possible endings, an array of new blocks, tools, weapons, and armor, some that give some pretty cool abilities. It also adds a level system to entities so mobs can have different levels to adjust their difficulty. And this mod adds a bunch of new mobs, including a new boss. On the mods page, the developer seems like they want you guys to experience this for yourself, so I don't want to give too many spoilers, but you can craft the in-game guide if you have Patchouli installed, which will guide you through most of the mod. Macaw's Paintings is a Forge 116 mod that currently adds 20 new paintings. The art was made by Peachy, and as with all of Macaw's mods, everything looks fantastic and they've done a really good job of keeping a Minecraft feel. And if 20 new paintings isn't enough for you, according to the mods page, you can expect to get some updates. The only downside to adding a bunch of new paintings to Minecraft is that it makes it a lot harder to get the painting that you want. Which brings us to our next mod, Cycle Paintings. This is a Forge mod available in pretty much every version since 112. This mod allows you to cycle through all paintings of the same size by right-clicking a placed painting with another painting in your hand. This is such a nice way to get the painting that you want. I think we've all had bad experiences where you keep placing and replacing paintings and it takes forever to get to the one that you want. If you plan to add Macaw's paintings, I would highly suggest pairing it with this mod. Health Canisters is a Forge 116 mod that adds an interesting new way to increase your maximum hearts, heal during battles, and gain absorption. With this mod installed, whenever you kill a mob, it has a chance of dropping a heart or a golden heart. A golden heart will only drop when you have full HP, and when you pick it up, it adds two minutes of absorption, and these can be stacked. A regular heart will only drop when you're missing HP and will automatically be consumed to replace any missing health. This means to make a heart canister, you need to kill mobs while you're missing HP, then fill up your health before you pick it up and make sure you craft the canister or get rid of the heart before you take any more damage. When you use a heart canister, it permanently increases your max health by one heart. All of these values are just the defaults though. This mod is very highly configurable. You can adjust nearly every single feature in the config file. And since I'm showing the config file, I always get a ton of questions down in the comments. I use Atom, A-T-O-M. It's a free text editor to edit my config files. I have a link to it with all of the packages that I use to make it easier to edit Minecraft config files and even make data packs in the FAQ section on my Discord. Enhanced Celestials is a Forge 116 mod that aims to improve the way you experience nights in Minecraft. Currently, this mod adds two lunar events, the Blood Moon and the Harvest Moon. 
During a blood moon, the monster cap is increased and players can't sleep. And during a harvest moon, crop growth rate and crop drop rates are both increased. The developer says they plan to keep adding more events, and they say you should keep your eye out for a blue moon, which I've heard is pretty rare. They only happen once in a blue moon. Cartographer is a Forge 116 mod that adds maps to undiscovered structures in your world. You can find these maps as loot in dungeons and pillager outposts. They can lead you to vanilla locations like ocean monuments, woodlands mansions, villages, and igloos. These locations will always be in chunks that haven't been explored yet, so you're guaranteed to find a cool new thing with every map that you find. The mod developer says they plan to add player craftable maps and more support for modded structures in the near future. Architect's Palette is a Forge 116 mod that adds a bunch of very nice looking blocks to Minecraft. Currently, it adds nearly 200 new blocks, including stairs, slabs, walls, and fences. Some of the blocks are light sources, and it adds some redstone cage lanterns that would look amazing for some industrial builds. It also adds a new tree with all the wood stuff you'd expect to be able to get from it. Some of the blocks added by this mod have some interesting behaviors, like the sunstone and moonstone that light up depending on the time of day. And everything added by this mod is survival friendly, meaning that it has some way that you can get it in a survival game. Antique Waystones is a Forge 116 mod that simply automates placing markers on your antique atlas whenever you find a waystone. I know personally, I forget to place markers all the time, and any automation is greatly appreciated. Cold Skunks mod is a Forge 116 mod that adds skunks and some skunk-related items to Minecraft. Just like in real life, if you get too close to a skunk, you risk getting sprayed. Getting sprayed applies the stinky effect, which can actually be a good thing. Most attackers are repelled by the stink. Skeletons, however, are immune because they don't have a nose. If you kill a skunk, they can drop leather, stink glands, potions of stink, and if you kill them with arrows, they have a chance to drop a stink arrow. You can brew potions of stink with stink glands, and you can make stink arrows with lingering potions of stink. This mod also adds a cool new mechanic that allows you to get bottles of milk that remove effects just like buckets. But you can stack the bottles of milk up to 16, which makes them way more handy to carry around. And that is all the time we have for this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I also want to let you guys know I have the public Minecraft server up and running. Spawn hasn't been placed yet, but the builders are doing an amazing job on it. But we already have a pretty good group of people that are playing on there all the time. You do need to whitelist yourself on my Discord. I have a channel called How to Get Whitelisted. Go there, read it. It's very easy to do. I also have a link to my Discord down in the description. If you're looking for a place to hang out with a good group of people that like to play Minecraft, everybody's welcome. And I do want to thank Bisect Hosting very quickly for providing the server. If you guys are looking for a good place to host a Minecraft server, use the link down in the description with the promo code BUTLYNECK and you get 25% off your first month. All right, I need to give an extra big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their names are up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and for sticking around to the very end. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We will see you guys next time.